the Washington Times, I'm Harris Alec. Economists warn that President Biden took the first step towards government control of the banking system by making more than $200 billion in additional government funds available to customers whose deposits were not covered by federal insurance at two collapsed banks. The FDIC covers deposits of up to $250,000 per account to prevent bank runs and failures. Biden, however, has approved a higher limit to cover the huge amount of uninsured deposits at the two banks. Once again, big banks blow it without no consequences, except to you, the taxpayer. House Republicans recently introduced a parents' bill of rights to empower families to take on woke and dysfunctional school systems. Republican Florida Congressman Byron Donald spoke with the Washington Times and explained why this plan is so important. The children do not belong to bureaucrats or classrooms or agencies. Parents are the ones who bring them into this world. They raise them, they care for them, they nurture them. So they need to be first in line, first and foremost. Now, I get it. There are some homes that are broken. I, I know that. We all know that. And there are times where there are groups of people, whether it's family networks or a local church or a local community group, or even, yeah, some government agencies who then step in to try to fill that role. But for the vast majority of children in the United States, mom and dad come first. And finally, Pope Francis recently called celibacy for priests a temporary prescription, signaling a potential end to a centuries-old requirement that the Roman Catholic clergy should not marry. Priests in the Roman Catholic Church have been required to remain unmarried for over a thousand years. For these stories and all of the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.